to the Oxford and Peterborough choirs. That was absolutely brilliant. What a lot of work all the choirs have put in this term um, and into supporting the Sound About Move About team. And uh, I hope you were all singing along and I can see Cameron, whose idea that it was to do Try Everything. It's one of his favorite songs and you saw him at the beginning on his, his, his automatic frame. Uh, so uh, well done. Huge well done to you all. And thank you to everyone for coming to the Move About celebration. It is so lovely to see you all. Just to do a little bit of a, a step back, the Move About Challenge was actually the brainchild of our own director of programmes, Jo Colton, who is also here today. Um, she wanted to find a way to encourage you, our wonderful Sound About community, to keep moving, keep motivated and keep happy while offering a way to support the charity to be able to continue to deliver our rapidly growing services. And the idea of the challenge was that people could set their own target distance and that it was inclusive. Um, all people needed to do was to decide what they could do within the three months between January and March 2021. And then it was over to you or over to them if it's you didn't take part. Uh, to decide how you were going to cover the distance, whether that was wheeling, walking, using a walking frame, running, dancing, anything, anything would go, uh, as long as it was safely done within COVID restrictions. And I do wonder if our Jo had a bit of a crystal ball, because when she came up with that idea last autumn, none of us realised that after Christmas we would be heading back into a full lockdown with schools and colleges closed once again. In fact, the impact of COVID was the catalyst for March 2020 to 21 being a truly transformational year for Soundabout. It was a fairly seismic shift to move from being a mainly local charity delivering face-to-face -face music sessions and training to a national one with a digitally led approach. And the team was so nimble and so creative that in fact, our first Soundabout Live music session on Facebook actually took place even before the first lockdown on the 21st of March last year. And many, many families have told us just how important you all, our musical community without barriers, has been during this period of increased isolation for so many. I just wanted to quickly outline a few things that have happened for Soundabout since that first lockdown as a result of moving to being digitally led in our approach for interactive and multi-sensory music making. We've had national TV coverage, including BBC News at 10, featuring a piece by journalist Fergal Keane, and our Sound About Inclusive Choir taking part in Songs of Praise on the BBC as well. As a partner choir of the King Singers for the Finding Harmony campaign, the choir has also collaborated on not one, but two beautiful new songs with them. Our team of freelance, amazing music practitioners has grown from 14 last February to 37 in total now which has been critical to enable us to roll out our little Sound About and Sound About Life projects and increase the number of music making sessions provided to meet the need. The Inclusive Choir has grown from 87 participants last February to over 300 now, that's a 250% increase. Since the BBC shared our story, we were commissioned to develop inclusive choirs in other areas in addition to Oxford, working with music hubs, hubs and art centres. So we now have inclusive choirs in Bristol, Oxford, Leicestershire, Peterborough, West Midlands and Wiltshire. And keep your eyes peeled because there are more coming. We can also look at how, how, much, how many people we've re reached in terms of our virtual platform. So the people who we reach through Facebook and Twitter and YouTube. The number of people who like our Facebook page alone has more than quadrupled over the year. The people reached on Facebook has increased from 106,000 in the previous year to 335,000 in the past 12 months. Video v views on YouTube where we do our little sound about and sound about live sessions has increased, increased 18 fold from 3,000 in the previous year to 54,000 over the past 12, 12 months. It's quite extraordinary. Soundabout was shortlisted for the 2020 Charity Award for Best Virtual Pivot. And most importantly, families have described us as a lifeline when they've been at their lowest ebb. So the growth in response to the need over the past year has been significant. And we've really needed to up our fundraising to be able to match it and make sure we can continue to be there and to deliver these sessions. 
and this was one of the catalysts for creating the Move About Challenge. After Joe came up with the idea, the second great thing that happened was that property development company High Barn underwrote the cost of the event, which meant that every penny raised came straight to the organisation. And Simon Claridge is here who made that donation. So a big thank you to you, Simon, for enabling that to happen. We're also incredibly lucky that our amazing volunteers also got involved. And I wanted to particularly mention Sarah Bull, who sent out every single welcome pack and t-shirt and Ella Stanton, who was responsible for our Move About of the Week campaign. And there were many other people who got involved as well. We've also had the support of two amazing health-focused organizations. So a big thank you to Emma from Drum and Bounce and Elliot and Ollie from Breathworks, who've run free sessions for our Move About team. And of course, the incred incredible Sound About Core team, Philippa, Maurice, Katie, Justin, and Isabel, who have as ever gone over and above to make the whole thing happen. And I'm now really excited to be able to share with you a few facts and figures about the outcome of the challenge. We had 84 people sign up to take part in Move About, which is amazing. And you have all create, uh, collected an incredible 21,817 kilometers and have raised 12,155 pounds. And that total is still rising. So a huge thank you to you all for your incredible efforts. This is a massive achievement and every single person involved should feel so proud. This phenomenal amount will enable us to keep our online schedule of music provision going for a full month. And that is really something to shout about. So my biggest thank you today is to you, Ooh. all of our VIPs, every single person who took part in the challenge and during the cold rain, snow, hail and wind, kept on moving to make music change lives. And um, we're very, very lucky to have lots of our members of our Sound About Inclusive Choirs today who have been working so hard on their songs. We've already seen Try Everything, and I'm now delighted to introduce September, which is performed by the Mac Sound About West Midlands Choir and the Leicestershire Choir, which is run in partnership with Leicestershire Music Hub. So over to you, Philippa, on that one to make the magic happen. Thanks, Claire. Um, hopefully you can all see my screen again now. And...
absolutely amazing. Oh, just had someone else come in. There we go. Okay, I am going to stop sharing my screen now um, so that we can talk about some Move About Awards. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pin myself and then Claire, I'm hoping you might be able to um, just support me in possibly finding people as I talk about them, <laughs> if people don't mind. Um, so just, um, yeah, I guess kind of reiterating what Claire's been saying. Um, everyone who took part in Move About has been so incredibly committed over the last three months. Um, it's been a, in some respects, a long three months. Um, it's, you know, the winter months are always tricky and with lockdown, it's been especially hard for lots of people. So everyone should be so proud of their achievements. Um, not only have we all kept fit um, and enjoyed getting out and seeing the countryside, we've also built a very special move about family. Um, and I know not everyone who took part in Move About was on our Facebook page, but um, we had a special Facebook group for the Move Abouters and so many people shared amazing videos and uh, pictures and Strava maps of, um, of their routes and things. And they were all certainly for me very inspiring um, and made me, some of them made me giggle a little bit. Um, so like I said, we're very proud of every single one of you, but there are a few people that um, we're just gonna give a little special mention to who have perhaps gone above and beyond um, during this Move About challenge. So the first, there's three people that I want to mention first of all. So um, I don't know whether, I, we've definitely got Justin here. Um, and I think I saw Emily Scully. And find, where's Emily? Uh, let's add Emily to the screen. Um, if we, hi Emily, but can we? Do you want to unmute yourselves as well? Um, and Hannah Owen, but I don't think we've got Hannah here. I haven't spotted her. Yeah. If, if I'm wrong, please add her, Claire. Um, so Justin, Emily, and Hannah have been absolutely incredible during this Move About Challenge, and they have all collected more than a thousand kilometers each um which given that i think i only collected something like 140 in the end um is a is a phenomenal achievement um i know so justin's a member of our team and emily is one of our amazing choir volunteers um and i know that justin's been getting up before work every day to fit in his bike rides and emily has kept us very entertained on facebook with her walks her snowman building um and yeah various other things um so just yeah a really well done to the three of you um it's it's mind-blowing and i hope that you're gonna keep up the <laughs> keep up the exercise and um join us next year for <laughs> collecting more kilometers um so we will get a certificate out in the post to you to celebrate being the three people with the most kilometers collected um so yeah huge well done i don't know whether you want to say anything or add anything i just don't know how we're going to keep how i'm, I'm going to keep motivated to keep getting out of bed in the morning and um, do the pe pedaling before work but um it's been really fun and having a um just having a target you know and um it, it it seems to me it's a really friendly been a really friendly event and be, having a target within that is a, is reason enough to get up and get out and get fit so um i've really enjoyed it whether it carries on uh into april and may we'll see <laughs> well, at least at least the weather's slightly better well no it's not i lie it's been snowing here <laughs> in theory the weather should be getting better <laughs> Brilliant. And um, yeah, Emily, you've done amazingly. And like I said, we've loved all of your Facebook posts. So um, thank you. Um, okay, so the next, uh, the next um, award goes to the team that has collected the most kilometres as a team. Now, I feel a little bit guilty about this and a bit biased because it is my team, the Long Whitnam team, that seems to have uh, collected the most kilometres. And the only other people on this call that I think are part of that team are my mum and dad. And I think they'd probably kill me if I spotlighted them. So I'm not going to do that. Um, 
that uh, the Long Whitman team altogether collected 4,284.7 kilometers. Um, and as I mentioned, my my mum and dad both took part and not only were they um, incredibly homeschooling my children during this, they were also walking and cycling to both collect 600 kilometers. So well done, well done to you. Um, the next, the next um, awards go to the top fundraisers. And again, um, unfortunately, Hannah Owen isn't here today, um, but Hannah individually collected £1,115, as well as being one of our top kilometre collectors. Um, and Hannah has been very inspirational and has, um, I think, been um, doing a sort of an Instagram blog about her move about journey. Um, Hannah is a SEN teacher in London um, and has, I, I, I remember one of her posts on Facebook particularly stood out to me because she said that it was the most, um, I can't remember the word she used, but significant 4.2 kilometres that she'd ever covered because she'd walked to her pharmacy to pick up a collection and had been offered her COVID vaccination at the same time. And um, she said that that was just felt like a, such a, a huge moment. So, um, so yeah, so thank you, Hannah, in your absence. Um, and then our top fundraising team um, goes to Ava's Active Army, who um, I'm hoping we have got here. I think I saw Ava somewhere. Um, hi. Um, so, Hi. Ava, hiya. so Ava's Active Army were a team of seven people, I believe, um, yeah. and you raised £765, which is incredible. And I also think you covered a lot of kilometres <laughs> as well. So, um, so yeah, huge well done to you, to you both. And um, I think you uh, both, you, Liz and Ava, are going to feature again in these awards. So <laughs> prepare yourself for, uh -oh. <laughs> for more. For, for more award giving um but yeah well done both of you and thank you very much and like yeah, i said yeah it's been wonderful we've oh. enjoyed it haven't we well um yeah there's a special mention for ava coming up so uh i should have forewarned you so you had the uh had something to show for us but um you'll understand what i mean in a second <laughs> in fact maybe while you're here i'll i'll do it so we've um we've got a special award for Ava as the most fashionable move about her because there was an amazing picture of Ava in a pair of fluffy white unicorn boots which I think all of us were jealous of and all of us wish we had a pair um so yes oh <laughs> look there they are amazing um so yes i we felt that that couldn't go unnoticed um and Again, while you're here, I probably shouldn't clump all this together, but um, Liz, you and your family got a very special mention for the best move about karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> so Liz put a, a, a video up of her and her family doing a very special rendition of Mr. Booth Guy, I think, um, which, was, which was delightful and made us all smile. So um, thank you for that. <laughs> We were just very grateful there was no one else on that country lane while we were doing it. <laughs> I think they'd have enjoyed it. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Well, thank you. Thank you both. And thank you to all your team as well for all your hard work. Okay, so let me just look at my list. Okay, so the next person, again, I think, I think she is here, Karen Shaw. I think I saw Karen enter... Um, I don't know whether Claire's going to find her. But anyway, um, Karen, um, I can't remember, from memory, she also collected a lot of kilometres, but she gets a very special mention um, for creating such beautiful Strava maps. Um, so I think she started off by creating a bell shape on one of her walks and then impressed us all by spelling out the word soundabout um, on Strava, which was yeah hugely impressive i think the uh, challenge was set for someone to better that and no one took up the challenge because it was clearly too good so um so yeah well done to um karen for the most impressive move about route i'm afraid thank you very much i am here oh. <laughs> <laughs> you are there but you can't be found <laughs> well thank you karen it was um yeah it was very impressive and um 
I looked back at it today when I was preparing for this and looked back at the route and uh, was wondering, I was thinking I might take up the challenge of spelling something out. <laughs> oh, there well, we go. <laughs> I, I really startled a couple of people practicing for rugby because I ended up walking right the way through them because I was go, go, going badly off kilter. But well, it was I, fun. Good. And I think um, in, a, in a couple of minutes, we will, um, we, everyone will be able to see your map as well. Um, so yeah, keep, it, keep an eye out. the dog. <laughs> but yes, well done. Thank um, you. Thank you. Okay. Um, so again, I, Karen and Megan, have they made it on? Karen sent me a message saying she wasn't sure that she was going to make it. And I don't know if I've Megan... I've seen Megan though. Megan. I've seen Megan. Yes. Okay, so those of you on Facebook, on the Move About Facebook group, will Karen and Megan became a sort of a, a hey Megan, <laughs> became a regular feature. Um, so Karen is one of our music practitioners and Megan is her niece. And together they um, delighted us on a weekly basis with the most incredible videos of, um, of their Move About challenges. So I made a little list, because I, I knew I'd forget, of some of the ways in which they collected their kilometers. So there was a three-legged race, there was stilt walking, um, there was window walking through Coventry, looking for people who decorated their windows. Um, there was an incident with a shoe getting stuck in some mud. <laughs> I think that was Megan's shoe. Um, and we had a lot of amazing songs, videos, and just generally brilliant things that I think everyone would agree made, made us laugh and made us smile and made us uh, yeah, very appreciative of those. So the award for most entertaining movement batters goes to Karen and Megan. So well done, Megan. And um, I think you also uh, managed to listen to a lot of music in the time as well so <laughs> brilliant I don't know do you want to say anything it was it was amazing to take part in move about because I managed to keep active but it was also a lot of fun seeing what everyone else was doing as well yeah, yeah it was it was I think um, that was one of the things I liked best checking up on the Facebook group and seeing what people have been getting up to um, so yeah so thank you very much Megan and Karen and We'll send her the video afterwards. Brilliant. Um, okay. Now, uh, have we got Jessica and Charlie? Charlie Hall. Jessica, are they here? We've definitely got Charlie. I can see her and I'm about to spotlight her. Here's Charlie. Hi, Charlie. I can't. Um, I don't Harry, remember. You're there, but I, I can't see you. Okay, so Jessica and Charlie um, get the award for the most dedicated move abouters. <laughs> so they went out in all weathers um, and I think had amazing wheelchair sleeping bags, had their hats, their coats, their hot water bottles, and um, yeah, went out despite the terrible snow and rain and whatever else. Um, so yeah, I think great commitment and um, very impressive and lovely to see the pictures as well. So thank you, Charlie, and well done. And we'll get a certificate coming over to you. <laughs> thank you. Lovely, thank you. Um, okay, so we've got a few more to go. So have we got, um, have we got Ellen here? I'm pretty certain we have got Ellen. I'm sure I've seen her. We definitely have Ellen. I have spotted her. So many people. I know, it's fantastic. Sorry, everyone, that we're being a little bit slow. Oh, here she is. I've spotted her. <laughs> so Ellen, um, Ellen started as a uh, volunteer with Soundabout and is now one of our choir interns. Sorry, I was having a mental block of all your <laughs> titles there. Um, so Ellen is a big part of Soundabout and Ellen and her family, um, I think it was your brothers and sisters, um, did some absolutely incredible uh, kilometre collecting on their unicycles 
and managed to video it at the same time, um, which I think, um, yeah, I think you can all agree is a very impressive set of skills. Um, so most unusual mode of move about transport award <laughs> goes to Ellen and um, yeah, your brother and sister. Um, so congratulations for that. And um, again, I think we've got a little video coming up a bit later, so you'll hopefully you'll be able to see, um, see the impressive feat. Um, but yeah, Ellen, do you want to say anything? Yeah, just to echo everyone else, really, I think it's been such fun seeing everybody. Um, and you guys have collected so many kilometres and raised so much money and awareness to sound about, which I think has just been brilliant. So well done, everybody. Thank you, Ellen. Okay, so we've got two more awards. So I've definitely seen Edward and I'm pretty certain I saw Cam as well. So we've got Edward and Cam here. Oh, Hi, Hi, Edward. <laughs> what? I didn't. <laughs> what? I didn't <laughs> thought I got one. And is, is Cameron here as well? Oh, there's Cameron. He will be. He's just he's just having a little break. He'll be here in about five minutes. Okay. This I... is amazing because. Yeah, you go for it, Edward. You. <laughs> because I just want to say that Evan's brother, my teacher, and she is so fantastic. She yes. really deserves the award because they, it's just so amazing. With, because there's Willie and Theo, my other friends, and we have a really good time. So I'm really pleased to see that Evan got one. Well, deserve it. Edward, it's time for you to get an award now. So this is for the most inspirational move about us because we saw an amazing video or picture, I can't remember, of you on your treadmill, collecting your kilometers on your treadmill. And you are also such a huge, dedicated and uh, committed member of our, of our inclusive choir as well. So you are a huge part of Soundabout. So thank you for collecting your kilometers in that amazing way, Edward. Yeah, we thank you. And I think there was an actual TV show and it was done by somebody, Tom Kerry, and that's the show called Rude Waiting. Oh, yeah. Something. Is that, is that inspired by Did that? Did he inspire you? That was... Well, Edward, you've all inspired us as well, so thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. And so we'll. Uh, if you let me know when Cameron's back, then we are, um, we'll talk about Cameron, but our last award goes to Anna. Anna Glass, no, yeah, I've definitely seen Anna. Uh, here we go, there's Anna. So, Anna, this is a very, very well-deserved award. Um, and your award is the most committed move about her. So you have been absolutely incredible over the last three months. Um, and not only were you the second highest fundraiser, but you also kept raising your kilometre target. Um, so oh, I have written down your, your, you ended up collecting a whopping 413.6 kilometres. And I believe all of those were done just through walking. Um, which is such a huge achievement. Um, and you also kept us entertained on Facebook with your amazing videos and your lovely pictures of all the animals that you met on your travels. And um, so, yeah, so thank you very much, Anna. It was really, really lovely to have those, um, have that sort of insight into the walks that you did, but also just to keep seeing you pushing yourself and to continue to collect more and more kilometers. Um, so yeah, huge well done and thank you for all the amazing fundraising that you did as well. Yeah. Well done, Anna. Well done, Anna. Do, do you want to say anything, Anna? Yes, thank you for the award and it's just going to amazing character and I'm just loving every minute of sound about them. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you, Anna. Great. Um, so I don't know whether, oh, it looks like Cameron is back. Brilliant. Hi, Cameron. 
So Cameron, along with Edwards, um, is being awarded the most inspirational move about her um, because I, you may have noticed in, I think it was our first choir video that there was um, an amazing um, picture of, or video of Cameron on his, and I'm sure it, it has got a better name, but the, his automated walking frame, um, collecting his kilometers in that way. Um, so well done for really inspiring yeah. us all, Cameron. And again, you are a, a really committed um, and regular member of our of our inclusive choir. So huge congratulations for um, for both the your um, commitment to the choir and your amazing move about um, contribution. So thank you, thank you, Cameron. Thank you, <laughs> thank you very much. It's called an inner walk. In a walk, lovely. There you go. <laughs> Claire and I were discussing it earlier, and neither of us knew the name of it, so that's a yeah <laughs> good learning point for us today. Brilliant, thank you, Cameron. Okay, thank you. so that is um, so that is all of our um, awards for today. We have got a couple of videos left to show you, and then um, that will be us. That will be us over. So let me share my screen with you once again. And here's the Bristol and Wiltshire Choir. Don't stop moving to the funky, funky beat. Don't stop moving to the funky, funky beat. Yeah, come on, don't stop moving to the funky, funky beat.
sorry, I was muted there, I was trying to talk. Um, another amazing video from our choirs and a big thank you to Daisy who um, put all these videos together as well. So, oh, don't want to start again. So we're just coming to the end now um, and I know we've said it lots, but just want to say another really big thank you to all for everything you you do for Sound About, for all the sessions you take part, but particularly for how much um, you've made move about a success this year. Um, so thank you. Um, I've got one last video to show you and a big thank you to Katie for putting this video together. And it just shows you some of the things that we've talked about in this um, call. So um, you'll see Ellen on her unicycle, you'll see Karen's sound about on Strava and various other um, things. So enjoy the next video, um, just seeing what everyone got up to over the last three months collecting their kilometers. And, um, and yeah, big thank yous again. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. Um, I hope uh, you've enjoyed our first move about year and um, we certainly will be planning it again next year. So I hope you'll all be, you'll be joining us next year. Um, Claire, I don't know if you've got anything you want to say. Um, just a, another big thank you to me and also a special mention to Emma and Martin and all of the uh, choir leader team who have kept the whole choirs uh, motivated and energized and taught all the songs and taught all the signs and, and have just been amazing as well. And I just wanted to give them a bit of a special mention and but to, to everyone, it's just, I've been quite choked up watching all that. You're all phenomenal. And we're so luckily, lucky to have you as our musical community without barriers. Um, so thank you for coming. Hope to see you next year and feel free to unmute and to say a big goodbye to, to everyone. And uh, have a lovely week. We love you, Claire. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 I'm so Bye. 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 Bye.